Yo, what is good, my anime people? I forgot to play this game, my anime people. <laughs> um, guys, we are uh, in the position of seeing some really, really high tech, dope battling and stuff, and I honestly did not expect uh, heroes, heroes, everybody, to look this absolutely gorgeous oh my god like guys i have seen some things like blown up and then you know usually with super the the graphics did get better with the certain types of uh like fights or you know the certain characters that were going to show up within a certain amount of time and because of that we were in a position to be like, okay, well, these guys are clearly going to, you know, fix up, um, fix up whatever they can. And after they're done fixing it up, it should look, you know, outstanding and stuff. But then we come to see just, you know, how much they are going to fix this stuff up. And my God, they, uh, <laughs> They went pretty ham, okay, so with what we get um, is, you know, Goku has never looked so good since, like, I want to say, um, he has not looked this greatly animated since, like, you know, versus Jiren and versus, like, ridiculous amount of people that actually made uh you know the the creators of super be like okay we need to make this a thing and we need to make it you know crazy and stuff like that so to see goku looking absolutely like a freaking star all episode was mind blowing because to think that super could be back right now is what everybody you know kind of wants and is hoping for but as of right now, oh yeah, this Super Saiyan Evolution Blue looks sick. Um, but as of right now, there's not too much of a, uh, you know, a market for us to understand really why it's taking as long as it is. Because like people have been noting is we, you know, we have like these people out here that can find super right like we can find they can find out that super is they're talking in with people about actually get it going and they're trying to you know make sure people who are uh investing in it are helping them get the best quality possible and stuff like that so to know that there is some works behind the closed doors on super is good and all but it would help that much more you know, if we actually get confirmation from the, you know, the true people that make Super, instead of just having to hope that all these rumors and stuff that we're hearing from people are actually true. Um, but this, this episode gave me that hope that Super really is being worked on somewhere, because if you just look at these graphics, man, if you just look at Goku this week, You'd be like, yeah, they they got some, they got something cooking up, and it's stuff like that that keeps me very, very hopeful that uh, in the future, at least, you know, we'll have a much better starting uh, part of the series instead of having it look not as clean and um, as good as I would want it to. Cause trust me, we've seen some pretty rough, uh, pretty rough renditions of you know, certain characters, you know, when they should be looking relatively dope, and that was really sad, because one of those characters being, oh, I did not block, I should probably learn how to do that, one of those characters being, uh, you know, Beerus, when he first showed up, he looked dope, and then next thing you know, the graphics started taking a dive after the show actually came out, but since he was introduced in a movie, he had way more, you know, uh, he had way more done to him to make him look uh, just presentable, I, I guess you can say, compared to the Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, that just looked so out of place, man. Like, 
it was bad. It was really bad. And to think that a show that's only eight minutes put this much effort into looking great. I mean, the whole entire episode is literally Goku versus Heart. And we got this sick moment with uh, Android 17 and Piccolo where it, now if we ever, ever see Piccolo turn his back to any opponent, including an opponent that can, you know, supposedly make Vegeta go SS Blue and actually put up a, a decent fight, um, that should be ultimately our, um, you know, that should ultimately be where it all kind of stems from right it should be easily um noted that whoever whoever is you know showing us these um you know these animation these graphics these ridiculous amount of awesome looking fights and stuff we have to be thankful for it because Either they're going to bring this into Super very soon, or they're going to, you know, continue to looking for more, uh, more people out there to help them be, you know, on top of their animation from jump to finish. I mean, this fight literally was Goku uh, pushing Super Hearts to a position to start actually using his real techniques that um, clearly he had, and he just was hiding overall i mean he has like this thing called just gravity punch you know or in general he's using the the perfect looking cubes uh that we and that uh vados had offered you know during the turn the first tournament against uh, universe six and seven she offered hit one of these cubes and that's exactly what it looks like uh within this whole entire um battle is he's just using these cubes and these cubes are capable of withstanding, you know, like, seemingly a lot of stuff. And then Goku's just straight up blasting them like they are nothing. So it may come down to the case that uh, Heart's cubes just aren't as strong or, uh, you know, as viable as an Angel's. But that doesn't seem like it makes too much sense just by seeing how much stuff he has in general on his side. Uh, to use, it seems like it wouldn't be that far-fetched to then believe that he um, has a way to pretty much just, um, you know, a pretty much a way to use Angel level of power, even though it's not as probably like, he probably hasn't trained and, you know, made it his own as much as Angel's have, but it's good enough for where he's at to straight up be able to, you know, use it as a offensive and maybe defensive option in battle. So that was pretty dope. Mind you, they did not show much of anything of Trunks and Vegeta because I just think they wanted to focus fully on uh, what what's his face look like this week. Goku, man. Oh, my God. He even does, like, a Super Saiyan Blue transformation, like, power-up that I haven't even seen in a really long time with his head leaning all the way back. That was, like, back when Super Saiyan was still new and every time they went super saiyan their heads just always were leaned so far back usually um so to see that come back not only that just the fact that goku uh is straight up like getting knocked around and then as he's getting knocked around he uh he tries to freaking grab onto something and he winds up just like ripping this pillar apart because he's grabbing a hold of it like it, it, it's ridiculous, guys. They they went all in this week, and it it really does show in a in a great way um, to the fact that I'm just like, man, I really want <laughs> I really want more uh, super just because our super. I really want more heroes just because we aren't getting super. You know what I mean? Like to think that this is happening, you can't block that. That's so dumb. Um, it just feels like they have so much that they're hiding from us at this point in time that if they do give us some ridiculous stuff afterwards, we're probably going to be mind blown by the ridiculous uh, quality of some of the fights we get. And I just really hope they can continue this uh, graphical enhancement. Uh, I think the only reason why it looks so good, like I was saying earlier, is Super is not coming out probably for a little bit. And these are the same people that work on One Piece. 
And One Piece has a movie. Not only that, they have a, a brand new arc that's like pretty huge, uh, in my opinion. And when it comes down to One Piece, I'm not a huge One Piece fanatic, but even I know that where they are in the story is pretty big for certain characters. So to know that aspect, it's only safe to say that they would uh, outsource some of the Dragon Ball Z people to you know help them out and actually make uh not only the movie great but make um make the uh whatchamacallit great to make the animation for you know these new characters and these old characters who are, who are probably gonna have big moments in these movies or even in just in the anime itself uh i'm guessing they're on the board with that so they work together for on this Heroes episode, and then they're like, all right, we got to go work on One Piece, so just take what we gave you, and peace, <laughs> you know, so that's just what it seems like, anyway, in my opinion, so it could be not different, they could be having a whole bunch of people working on this still, and it just feels like because Super isn't here still, that they're not working on it, right, um, but yeah, overall, Please, please go watch this episode just to look at Goku. If you're a huge drag, uh, super fan or just Dragon Ball Z in general fan, look at what we could have been getting in Super all the time, man. Imagine if it looks like this week of Heroes in Super all the freaking time. I would lose it. I would, I would schoolgirl. I would fangirl out every day that I got to see Super looking that clean. So. With all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I am the Anime G, and I definitely hope to talk to you guys sooner or later. Um, I have been trying to find shows to put on here, but at the same time, I'm trying to find shows that I can be passionate about, kind of like Dragon Ball, to be able to give you guys good content with it. And I'm trying to beat this Broly, but he's just not letting it happen. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. But with all that being said, I will definitely talk to you guys soon. So with that, peace. Really? No way. You wouldn't dare, Broly. You wouldn't dare. Yeah. Wait, I don't even know who you are, but you need to chill out. No. My God. <laughs> There's no way I'll be able to finish this mission now. Freeze is coming back. Yeah, it's GG. What? <laughs>